Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're checking out how you can install custom cars on your 5M server. Now, this is going to also be running 5PD, so this just shows that it works on both 5M and 5PD the same exact way, you don't have to do anything different. Same exact install, same exact way, don't worry about it. Anyway, let's just get started. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to your server data folder if this is on line on an FTP client or if it's on Windows, both are the exact same. So go to your server data folder, Go to your resources, and you're just going to right-click, press new, create a new folder, and this is going to be called whatever you want. It could be called custom cars, custom cars, custom car, police cars, whatever you want. That's what you have to name it. So, then you're just going to go into this folder, and we only have to make two things in here to allow for custom cars to go onto the server. Right-click, press new, go to make a folder. You're going to name it stream, S-T-R-E-A-M, press enter. Now, the second one is the only other one that's a little bit more difficult than the original one. This one, we actually have to put a file which allows the server to detect, oh yeah, this is an add-on or something we're adding. Let's go there and get that add-on. And this file, all you have to do to make it is right click, press new, go to text document or something. Make sure you have under uh, view file name extensions on, otherwise you can't actually do this. So right click, press new, go to text document or whatever you want. You're gonna name it underscore underscore resource. And then you're gonna switch the dot text to dot L U A. Press enter, press yes. That's all you have to do. Then inside of your stream folder, this is where you're going to drop any of your cars. So you can see I have th the police car file here. Just going to drag that in and that will now uh, replace the cars on the server. So the last step we have to do to make it actually work is go back to our server data folder, go to our server.cfg, press edit. I would recommend editing it with notepad plus plus type start custom cars or whatever you named your folder or ensure for um, different versions. So it either says ensure or start, make sure you match the ones that are here. For me, it said ensure custom cars, which matches up to my name over here. You then can go ahead and start your server. And I'm gonna go ahead and start my 5M client and we'll connect and see if it replaced the police car. This also is the exact same way for doing um, normal police cars of add-ons and replacements. So you can either have an add-on or a replacement. It doesn't just have to be police cars. It can be any single car you want. So pretty cool. Anyway, let's just go ahead and connect and see if this worked. Now, I've gotten a few questions over the past week. What if you can't spawn it? Like what if it's an add-on car and there's no way to spawn it because you don't have a trainer or something? I'll show you that real quick. You're gonna go ahead and open up your resource file again. Go to the server data folder, go to your server F C F uh, CFG file and make sure uh, SV underscore script hook allow is turned to one instead of zero. But do note, this allows any script hook plugins like the Lamba menu or uh, F3 or F1 menus to be able to work. So if you disable this, most uh, external plugins will break. But if you enable it, you'll be able to allow those external plugins like the trainer in F1 there or the trainer in F3. Either of those is how it works. So just to be noting that, that will allow it, but it will also allow you to spawn cars. Then if I go ahead and spawn an emergency because we released, we replaced Police Cruiser 1, if I press it, you can see I am now have a custom Police Cruiser inside of the server. So um, that's how you do this. It's just that simple. Drag and drop takes less than five minutes to do, and you can do this with all of your cars. If your car comes with a custom like data or vehicle handling mod, I will be doing a separate video on how to um, make the folder go to that car and get those files and everything. So that will be coming up in a upcoming video, but this is just for those easy drag and drop replacement cars that don't require different handling or anything. I've gone ahead and done this quick tutorial for you. If you have any other 5PD or 5M content you wish for the channel to have, make sure to leave it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to check into it. Also leave any questions you have down below as well and I would be happy to answer them like I did on the last video. So thank you so much for the support. Thank you for all of everything everybody's done for the last week. We've gained over 50 subscribers in less than a week, which is absolutely insane. Thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.